Warning, the following video contains 100% authenticity, facts and logic only, and is toxically masculine. So, if you're easily offended or you don't want to learn something new, then fuck off and go be a pussy somewhere else. Being an imposing man and a man who establishes presence is a very important and powerful skill that all men must understand and must master, but most don't. Now, what I mean by this, by being an imposing man, a man who establishes presence, I mean that when you walk into a room, any room, any place, any situation, the men and the women in that room take notice of you, okay? You don't go unnoticed like a ghost. They take notice of you, they look at you, they analyze you, they study you, and they think. The reason why it's important to develop this, right, is because, number one, the things they're going to do in order to become a man who establishes presence and who is imposing are all going to be things that are going to level you up and give you a better quality life if you do the work. Some of them are very simple. They don't require much work. Some of them do. Okay, but they're all going to help you level up. Second reason being is that it opens new opportunities for you and it also changes people's perspective on you. And the third reason being in general, it just helps you live a better life. It helps you avoid certain problems. Okay. Now, first of all, before I get into all that, how to how to do it, you know, explaining this deeply, you need to understand, guys, masculinity is healthy, okay? It, it is, okay? Masculinity is good. As a man, it is your obligation to be masculine, okay? No matter what people tell you, you know? It's your obligation to look good facially, have a strong bone structure, have strong eyes. When you talk to people, just have strong eyes, have a good physique, be able to fight, be able to fuck well, look good on clothes, look good naked, all these things, guys. It's your obligation to master them as a man, you know, to embrace this, you know, embrace masculinity, be a man, you know, it's very important that you master all these things because what's happening nowadays, guys, especially in the States, I'm not sure where you live. I mean, it's happening all over the world, but more so in, in the Western countries, men don't look like men, you know, <laughs> they don't speak like men, their voice, their face doesn't look like men, their physiques are horrible, you know, I mean, they even have fat here on their chest they have man titties nowadays i mean it's crazy you know you can you can see all the studies you know if testosterone levels dropping you know men men are not what they were we're not what they were 50 70 years ago okay you'll see this in every aspect of your life when you go to a mall when you go to a store at your work at your school whatever it is you're going to see this you don't want to be a man like that because it, it's no quality of life first of all like it's no quality of life and like i said it's not embracing masculinity now how do you do this, okay? How do you become an imposing man, you know, a man who establishes presence? I'm going to get into that. First of all, you need to understand the physical aspect, okay? Your physique. Number one, how do you dress, okay? It doesn't matter if you dress the most casual, which is like a hoodie, what I'm wearing right now, or jeans and a t-shirt, which is still very casual. If you dress a little more elevated, you know, some leather shoes, chinos, a polo, or all the way up to a suit, whatever level you dress, obviously, the more elegant you dress, the more better it's going to be. But even if you're dressing very casual, like I am now the most casual, right? If you understand how clothing should fit you, how it should look, what to pair it with, you know, to show off your physique, all these things, you're, you're going to look a lot better, okay? You're, you're going to look a lot better than if you didn't understand this. The second thing is your physique. You need to look good in clothes and you need to look good without clothes. Guys, I used to work at a farm boy, right? It's like, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's like a, basically like a grocery store in Canada. I worked there for like four months as a school project, right? I was in the chef department. So I, I'd wear like a chef uniform, you know, like the uniform photo up here. And guys, the amount of times when I was serving a woman, right? Because uh, I was at the bar, you know? And I would notice that she was looking at me because of my shoulders. Because they could see I have broad shoulders. So many times, guys. The number of times that girls have told me that I have a wide back or that I've touched my back or that I'm like sitting here and they're just caressing my back, it's, it's, it's so many. I mean, you, you can see here, guys, like, like the photos are, are not lying. That's me. You know what I mean? All these things, you know, being wide, you know, having wide shoulders, having a wide back, you know, it shows us, you know, there's a reason women are attracted to it. It's because it's masculine, you know, they, they can't deny that. Nobody can deny that. It's science, you know, women are attracted to that, you know, it's masculine, okay? You need to be able to look good and close and naked, you know? People need to be able to see that this guy takes care of himself, you know, shows that you respect yourself, shows that you have your priorities in check. And like I said, it's going to lead down to other benefits. Okay. So that's physically speaking. Okay. How you look now walking. Okay. Everybody walks, you know, we all walk. You need to be able to walk with confidence. Okay. 
don't walk looking down, you know, don't don't walk like this. You need to have good posture, you know, walk with confidence. Be, be a man, you know, basically. <laughs> be a man, walk well, you know, look up. Okay, a lot of guys tend to do this, you know, a lot of guys get afraid. Guys, even if you're walking past somebody and you're not going to say hi to them, don't look down. Just look, just look straight if you're not going to say hi to them, you know. I do recommend you say hi to people. I mean, when I go out on the street, I walk my dog, I pretty much say hi to everybody, you know, it's just... It's a good thing to exercise, right? But look up, you know. Don't 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 walk like don't walk like a pussy, you know. If you're, if you're gonna walk like that, people are gonna see you like that. They're gonna think that you're that, and they're gonna treat you according to that. Okay, you need to be able to walk well. Now it comes to your face, guys. I'm I'm not bald. Okay, you can clearly see I have my hairline. I just choose to I just choose I just choose to shave my head. But if you're balding, you need to shave your head, guys. Embrace it. You know, it's just it's incredible. There's a reason why I'm bald. I like it. You know, I like the way it feels like the way it looks. If not, get a good hairstyle, you know, not, nothing that requires too much work, nothing that is too feminine or anything. Get a good, you know, short hairstyle, I'd, I'd say it's the best. Your face, you know, I can't really grow much facial hair, okay? If you can, grow a nice thick beard, you know. I'm, I'm really working on my acne right now. If you have acne, work on that, okay? Now, your jaw structure, okay? I don't, I don't really have that much of a strong jaw, but you can tell that I do have, that you can, you can tell it's noticeable, okay? You need to have a strong jaw, okay? Your neck, right? You can see. I don't really have a very big neck, and it's a little bit over, over average, I'd say. But having a strong neck, especially strong traps, it, it symbolizes a great deal of strength. Now, finally, it's your eyes. Guys, look at me, okay? Just look at me. <laughs> Just look at my eyes. My eyes say more than a thousand words, and your shit too, because they show part of masculinity, okay? So, I just told you, you know, all these things, you know, how, what, it, what it means to be, to impose, to be an imposing man and to establish presence, okay? How are you going to do this? Number one, you're going to work out, okay? You need to start lifting, okay? You need to start lifting. You need to start stretching, you know, all these things, you know, do some cardio as well, but you need to start lifting, okay? That's what's going to gain you muscle mass, okay? Obviously, you need to eat well, you need to sleep well, but the first thing you need to start lifting. Second thing, you need to start mastering violence, okay? I don't care. If you don't even want to compete at an amateur level, if you, if you, it's fine. You know, you don't need to do it. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing it for pro reasons, okay? But even if you don't want to compete ever, you still need to do that, guys. It's it's incredibly important. You need to be able to master violence, right? And then just level up, guys. I mean, just just learn, really. It's, it's not fucking simple, guys. I mean, there's so many free resources. My channel has so many free resources. Learn about all these things, about fashion, about looking good, about taking care of your skin. Bunch of free resources, guys, okay? Now, I'm going to get into the pros, you know? Like I said, three, um, the three things at the beginning, okay? First point that I made, you know, that it levels up your life. I mean, guys, when you're in shape, your life is better, you know? You don't really have to worry about gassing out, you know? You look good. You like what you see in the mirror. Girls like, girls like what they see. Girls like what they feel, okay? It levels up your quality of life, you know? You live a healthier life. Now, point number two, like I said... It opens new opportunities, guys. I, I've studied this a lot, okay? I, I study, I see, I analyze. At the gym, guys, people always want to work with the guys who look strongest, with the guys who look like they have best technique. I always want to work with the strongest guys. I always want to work with the guys who I can tell, they're learning, who I can tell, they're at a much higher level than me because it's going to help me improve, okay? People are always going to gravitate towards people who look of a higher status because they show that they can learn something from them. You know what I mean? When we go back to the caveman days, okay? People would always look up to this guy who was more masculine than the others, who was stronger, who could hunt better, you know? Who was more imposing. Why? Because he was going to be the one that was going to keep them alive. He was going to be the one that was going to provide them all this advice, okay? That was going to help them in all these ways, okay? Now, it's going to open, open, open more opportunities with girls as well, okay? Guys, looks fucking matter, okay? Looks matter. Now, the reason why, you know, a lot of times people say looks don't matter is because it's not the only thing that matters when it comes to getting girls, but looks fucking matter, guys. If, like me, I'm short, guys, okay? I'm a very short person. I'm, I'm, I'm a very short man. I'm five foot three. I have acne, okay? I'm bald, you know? Some people say it looks bad, whatever, okay? Guys, in the four years that I went to high school, right, especially this happened more so in the later years, and if you went to high school with me, you, you know this is true. I always imposed when I walked into the room, bro. What, what, whether it was because I was wearing a t-shirt or what, whatever it was, I always imposed. I always saw girls looking at me. I always saw even guys looking at me, right? 
I was always imposing. I established presence, you know what I mean? Like I said, I already told you all the benefits, you know? It's very important that you master this, guys. And I challenge you now, if you're in high school, if you're in college, whatever, college, you know, classes are bigger, but still, work on yourself. Give yourself six months, okay? Six months of dressing better, of looking good, you know, with your physique, of walking with confidence, and of leveling up your facial features, right? Having a strong bone structure, having a strong eyesight, right? Having um, having a good hairstyle, whatever, having a beard. Give yourself six months, and I guarantee you, analyze the way people are going to treat you, and analyze if people are even going to pay attention to you. It's going to completely change. Okay, guys? It's going to completely change. And you want that. You want that to be able to meet new people. You can you can meet friends, you know. You can meet guys that are going to present you, let's say, kind of business opportunities, you know what I mean? Or, or guys who you can work with on certain things, you know, because they're going to see, you know. These are all things that guys who are working on themselves notice in other men and respect. And they seek, you know, I don't want a friend who's a fucking pussy. I don't, I don't want a friend who can't defend himself. I don't want a friend who doesn't look good, you know. I want a masculine friend because I'm a masculine guy. And I know that that's a very good combination, okay? Having masculine friends. Seek friends who work on themselves and seek friends who are at a higher level than you. Because you're going to be able to compliment your life, okay? And finally, the third thing, living a better life, guys. A lot of times, you know, people are... They don't want to take advantage of you. you know what I mean, I'm telling you this as, as, as being five foot three. I've been five foot three for a couple years. It's happened a few times, but people have rarely ever tried to fuck with me. Just just because of the way I'm, guys. I don't, I don't walk like a pussy. I have a good physique. Look at my eyes. You know what I mean? Look, look at my face. Look at my jaw structure. I mean, people don't fuck with me. Okay, e Even though I'm a very short guy. Even though I have acne. Just because of all these things. Guys, you don't want people to fuck with you. Okay, Because first of all, it's a headache. But second of all, your safety. You obviously need to have situational awareness. Because if people fuck with you, but you have situational awareness, you know, you can avoid most of it, right? But why do you want people to fuck with you? Why do you want to be vulnerable? Why do you want to be a target, a, a, a target to people? You don't, you don't want to do that, guys. <laughs> you know? It, it, what, it, it, do, you, do you think it's going to be good if somebody sees? Yeah, that guy's weak, you know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go muck him. It's not, guys. It's not going to be fucking good. Okay? I know I kind of went on a 13-minute rant right now, but guys, I can't stress this enough, okay? It's very important that you understand this and you embrace it. Embrace masculinity and level yourself up, right? Be the man that everybody looks at when they walk into the room. The girls want to fuck and the guys want to be the man that everybody respects. Guys are going to respect you. They're going to want to be your friend. They're going to want to learn from you. You can do, I don't know, like, I know it sounds general, but you can do business ideas, you know? You can grow in some way, and girls want to fuck you, okay? Girls fuck guys they respect, okay? It's simply a fact, all right, guys? Don't be the pussy, weak little soul boy that just walks in there and nobody notices. Be the strong man that you can be, embrace masculinity, and always work on yourself. I'll see you next time.